There goes Bruno. Are you gonna take out your toys? You gonna take out some toys? Welcome back, you guys. The time is finally, finally here. I have already decorated my whole house for Christmas. So if you missed that video, go watch it. But the tree has arrived. As I mentioned, we are deciding to do a faux Christmas tree this year for numerous reasons. And we decided to just invest in a good one to have for years to come. And so many of my friends rave, and I've seen some of you guys too rave about the Balsam Hill trees. So we bought the Red Spruce Slim 6.5 tree with candlelight LED lights. <laughs> they have some trees with like light shows, so much. And apparently they're like super great quality, last a long time, um, and are very realistic. We bought the most realistic type of branch. So I'm really curious to see how it looks. You guys know I have a faux tree that I've had for years and years in our study, just from like Target or something. Um, and it doesn't look real at least maybe on camera it does but in person it just it doesn't have that real look so i'm curious how this one is going to look so we're putting up the christmas tree honey i am going to assemble it and put it up while yara is finishing work and then we're going to decorate it together later i've got dinner in the oven so i'm going to put on a christmas movie and set this sucker up are you gonna come be my helper all right let's move all of your bones because if i step on this during this i will have a full-blown menti bee I assume the feeling of stepping on your child's Lego is similar to stepping on your dog's bone. Okay, so I've already watched Christmas with the Cranks and Deck the Halls. So I kind of want to watch Christmas with the Cranks again. Because I only watched it... <laughs> I only watched it once. It's my favorite Christmas movie, one of them. But I watched it while I was decorating. And I didn't really watch it. Uh, maybe I'll watch it another time. All right, let's just do Christmas Vacation. I'm halfway through it from the other day, I think. All right, let's do it. Ooh, this looks nice. Okay, this looks so realistic. Look how realistic this looks. Wow. So we've been eating dinner and like having this on in the background and unfortunately we just feel like it's too small. I asked Jar straight up, I'm like, look, the second I put it up, I'm like, it felt too short um, and I wanted his opinion and he said it didn't seem too short, but then as he sat here longer, he agreed with me. So thankfully, um, Balsam Hill has a good exchange policy and a return policy. So. I just filled out the form to exchange it. So yeah, it just like, it's the perfect, perfect width for the space, but like we need the 7.5. I don't know why I thought the 7.5 would be too tall. I think we normally get a seven foot tree here. That's what we did last year anyway. I think we've only been here a year, but yeah, we just need the 7.5. It just, it looks really small in person. But like I said, the width is perfect. So I filled out the form online to exchange it. So I'm just gonna leave it up until I get like everything sorted out. Cause you have to fill out like an inquiry form and then they'll get back to you. So it's pretty, you know, it, uh, before the height situation, I will say I was severely impressed with the quality of the branches. They feel so real. They even kind of like prick your finger, like real behind us. <laughs> like it is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. And I love this one, the red spruce slim. So anyway, the saga shall continue. Hopefully we'll be able to exchange it um, pretty quickly. But I love all the lights. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, trust me guys, I'm so bummed. Like I'm so bummed. Part of me wants to just keep it, but like this was an investment that I wanna have for years and years. <sighs> so just gotta exchange it. 
and wait and not be impatient. A few moments later. The fun part about marriage is like, it's like when you were a kid and you got the urge to rearrange your bedroom at like midnight. Marriage is when you get the urge to rearrange the living room at not 9 p.m. <laughs> not quite midnight, but. So we, <laughs> this looks really good, babe. We put back the chairs on each side of the room, like how we used to have the room, but we changed it last Christmas for the tree. This just looks really good. Maybe it's just because we like a little change. We were just about to go upstairs and watch the Selling Sunset reunion because it comes out at nine. This is what we're doing instead. <laughs> Um, now it's like nice and symmetrical again, like the old days. Chair on each side. Now he's got to rearrange all the subwoofers. So that's a whole situation. And keeping the box for the tree until I can return, waiting for them to reply. But yeah, we were thinking about maybe putting a table behind here, but I don't know, it might be too cluttered that way. Yeah, nothing like a little 9 p.m. project. Good morning, it is the next day. And waking up to how we have the room set up looks so good. And the tree's still up and it's just like, <sighs> I'm just sad because I don't want to send it back. But thankfully, Balsam Hill had a really good um, easy exchange. They already emailed me back and they had me place the order for the 7.5 and then they'll send me a label today to mail back this one. Um, and then I'll get refunded for that one. So that's the situation. So I gotta bring that to the store today. I already had breakfast a while ago. It is 8.20. I also am gonna go return this robe. This is my first morning putting it on. It's so cute. It's from Skims. You know, I'm such a sucker for Skims. <laughs> it's like pink and red. It's kind of purple actually. And it's just so cute. It has Skims written on it. It was gonna be my Vlogmas robe. And like I could, get away with it on camera, but it is so short. It is so short. <laughs> I was hoping it would be like mid thigh. It's like top thigh. <laughs> and it's really soft. Like the fabric is really, really cozy, but you know, for the price, I'm like, if I don't love it, I'm gonna return it. But anyway, let's make a coffee. <laughs> We're gonna use the Christmas tree cup today in honor of our failed Christmas tree. So Yar has already figured out two of his Christmas gifts and this happens every year, every year. So I have been very careful about keeping an eye on packages, looking up the tracking, making sure, because Yar is lovely and brings in the packages every day. So I've been more mindful of going to do a little check a to make sure and he saw one of the packages and then something else happened where i think he was gonna like we had this talk too where he was gonna like buy something and he mentioned it and i'm like don't buy anything from there and then it was like a little bit obvious that i got him something from there so christmas shopping um is also just like really hard in general when you're married and have the same bank account like how do you guys navigate that like we, we have to get so crafty. Like if one of us <laughs> buys the gift, we're like, don't look at the bank statement this week. <laughs> it's just like a whole situation. All right, cheers. I put this whipped cream, it really doesn't do much, but like it just makes it happier. Why does it hit every time? So, um, <laughs> that was an intrusive thought that came to fruition. Mm. It's so minty. So on the agenda today, I have been putting off filming a collective haul for a while because um, I revamped some clothes for um, the winter and Christmas. So I have to film that. That'll be a separate video. And then I was also thinking about listing some of my old stuff on my Depop because my mom used to sell some of my stuff on Poshmark, but she's just like super busy with her new job. So um, I was thinking of selling, selling some stuff on Depop. But first and foremost, we need to caffeinate and get ready. Guys, look at the living room again. It's so good. Like the symmetry is giving, it really is. The box over there is kind of messing up the vibe a little bit, but yeah, I really like it back like this. It's just like perfectly even. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. You're beautiful. Look at your long legs, you're so tall. You're so tall. It's just amazing. I love you. I am a sucker for you. 
I love you so much. Yes, I do. One eternity later. Well, you guys, here's the aftermath of filming this huge haul. But guys, everything was so freaking good. So it's about lunchtime now. It's noon. I did get the label for returning the Christmas tree. <laughs> um, so I hope the next one comes quickly. I'm like so sad. I don't want to take it down. <laughs> Oh, I love having the tree up. Uh, and then I also need to drop off that Skims return. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do a whole lot else today besides editing and going to do these returns. But I think we're gonna go on date night tonight. At least we've got makeup on. And thankfully I didn't sweat too much when I was filming my try on haul. You guys, it's a good try on haul. Like spoiler alert, look at this cute little jolly sweatshirt. But it's like really thin, so it's nice and comfortable. Cause it's 60 out today, which feels like an absolute crime. I know some people live like in Arizona and it's probably really hot. Um, but yeah, ooh, next week's in the 30s for the high. We have like a weird stretch for the next three days of like high 50s and low 60s, which I don't love, <laughs> but that's okay. Anyway, ooh, smells so good. So I am gonna go whip up something for lunch. I have ground turkey, so I think I'm gonna just like make maybe some nachos. Oh, that sounds really good. You have been so patient today. He's waiting to go on his daily R-I-D-E. Oh, I can just tell he wants to look at that face. He wants to go on an R-I-D-E so bad. Watch, you wanna go for a ride? Wanna go for a ride? Come on. Try on your Christmas harness. Let's see if it fits. Let's see if it fits. Ready? One arm. And, nope, no, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. There. Good job. Wow, it fits you almost perfect. A little big, just a little. I think they sent an extra large and I ordered him a large. You're never an extra large. You are large. Wow. You look very handsome. Hello. This harness is so nice. It's got like reflectors on it. I'm pretty impressed. Hello. My goodness, it is bright out here. Um, I have 60 miles left, so I'm just gonna get gas now. Cause like, I know I'm gonna have to. I should have just let Yar pump it later, but now I'm here. Yar is very sweet and does not, I mean, he doesn't not let me pump my gas, but he always like, let me pump your gas. Like so sweet. So, and I was also just listening to Lily's Marco. If you have a long distance bestie, you gotta download, oh, you gotta download Marco Polo. Cause it's like FaceTiming, but like answering when you can. So like you send each other video recordings and then you can watch it whenever and record back whenever. It's great, so. Hey, Baba, you doing okay? Are you over here to say hello? Sweet boy. All right, gas is secured. It is so warm. I don't know if the camera caught it, but um, they have a full service gas thing over there. And the lady pulled up and goes, crazy weather. And I'm like, this is so New England right now. <laughs> when we have like a warm day like this, we're all like, oh my God. It's a warm day in November. Okay, I also need to go to the bank and then the post office. But I will say it is wild how much less we've been spending on gas with Yar's Tesla. It's tempting to want to get one one day because like it's just so cheap to charge it with the charger at our house. Um, but like when I just take that little car around town, Cause like, you know, I'd be running my errands um, and like going to my mom's, going to my grandma's, like taking the Tesla, it's just been like saving so much on gas and it costs like a few bucks to charge it in the house. Why is there so much traffic? It is 1245. Want me to take the back roads to the bank so you can stick your head out the window? Yeah, there you go, Baba. There's nothing better than watching your dog cruising out the window with the wind blowing back his fur. I'm never getting out of here. <laughs> I am, I'm never getting out of here. This is crazy. Should I go the other way? I'm kind of tempted. You know when it gets to the point where like, you're trying to cut across to the opposite lane 
and you just eventually go the other way because you're desperate. Oh, oh, here's my chance. Here's my chance. We did it. Huzzah. You know, I've been craving so much lately, you guys. Boba. Boba. I had a bubble tea in a minute. There is one kind of near the post office. And I'm tempted. All right, I'm gonna go listen to the rest of, there's some good lighting. I'm gonna go listen to the rest of Lily's Marco so I can polo her back. Okay, you guys, next stop is the bank. I find it interesting because I genuinely feel like the world is so much busier around the holidays. Like even on, you know, a random, you know, when, Wednesday, Thursday, what's the day? Thursday at 1 p.m. Like, it's just, it's a lot busier than usual. So I just find it so interesting. From like now through Christmas, everything's gonna be busy like all the time. Like this, I'm going to my bank now, but I'm at the outdoor mall. Thank you. And the outdoor mall is popping. Oh my God, yes, queen. She's in a convertible with the top down in a tank top. Now that is the most New England thing I've ever seen. Just cause it's 63 degrees. <laughs> That's iconic. That's really iconic. Here, baby, you want to put your head back out? There you go, bub. Um, also, Yarman changed my life because for the longest time, I didn't know you could deposit cash into the freaking ATM. Like, what kind of magic is this, you know? Okay, of course, I <laughs> picked an ATM that doesn't work. It's like on a frozen screen. Like, if someone just finished, it's like, thank you. Anything else? Thank you. And it didn't change. So, we're gonna skedaddle on over here. I've never used this one before. Oh, yeah. Now the computer's, like, black. Okay, so that's not working. Will this one work? Yes. Haha. <laughs> it's so cool that you can just insert cash. Like, this is the future. Uh-oh. They're going to the ATM that doesn't work. Oh, God. I want to be like, don't bother. Oh, my God, the line to get out of here. I almost drove to the other one too. You know, and like you know somewhere's gonna be busy, so you like drive a little further to like the quiet one. I should have done that. I really almost did. Also, you guys know this candy cane lotion I got? It's so nice. I put it on every time I get in the car. This is my station. I have Sani and then lotion. Pretty much every time I get in the car. I also made myself lunch and took my rings off and forgot to put them back on. Pretty much an everyday occurrence. All done. Oh, the car just backed up. It wasn't working for them either. I was hoping it would just like work for them. Sorry. Now they're behind me. Yep. I feel you, lady. I'm finished. And now we are off to the bank. No, we just left the bank. Oh my God, my brain. What is she doing? We're off to the post office. You guys, it was so cute. You're parked right next to another dog. <laughs> and we both just ran into the post office. <laughs> yes, such a handsome boy. Such a handsome boy. I felt so bad there was a lady in there and she needed tape. She didn't know she had to tape her box because they print out the label there. So the lady next to her handed her the tape that was for sale, but she thought she was lending her the tape. And then she gave it back and was like, thank you. And the lady's like, no, you need to pay for it. It was a whole situation. The skims has been returned. Guys, like, I think I'm gonna wait and return the balsam tree when the new one comes in, just so we can have a tree. <laughs> Because we don't have to send it back for two weeks. Would you judge me? Would you judge me if I did that? It's still going to get returned exactly the same. Uh, but <laughs> if we have two weeks, why not wait for the new one to get delivered in a couple days and then send back the old tree so that there's always a tree? <laughs> you guys, I am hitting a massive afternoon slump. It's three o'clock and I don't want to do nothing. I got back from running errands and I just did a bunch of editing. So I am dreading it, but I really wanna go upstairs and put away all the clothes from the hall earlier, hang them all up. But I am going to have a small Alani and it matches the Christmas spirit, literally red and green. Could it be more festive? Love that they came out with the mini cans with 100 milligrams, perfect. As I say, I try to do 100 milligrams in the morning then 100 in the afternoon, because I always need to pick me up in the afternoon. So my mom just called me on one of her breaks though, and she's doing good with her new job. So I'm really glad the chair, I brought her from the last vlog, I brought her one of our old office chairs yesterday because she's working from home. And she was sitting on a wood dining chair that is breaking. So, so much better. Mm, the cherry slush is so good. So this, this will power me through. 
But Yara and I were talking and we think we're gonna do at home date night tonight. Neither of us really feel like going out to dinner. So we're gonna save the gift card for next week and just do takeout and watch um, the Selling Sunset reunion because we never got to watch it last night because we ended up rearranging the living room. <laughs> but since we're gonna leave the tree for a few days until the new tree comes, I want to hide this box a little better. <laughs> It does come with this really nice bag though. It comes with like a bag for I think the stand and then this is for the actual tree. It's very nice. So we're just gonna put the box that way so we can't see it as much and we'll still enjoy our tree. Did the room confuse you today? Are you playing with one of your Christmas toys? Ready? Oh, I was gonna throw it. You want me to throw it? Go! He is not a fetchy boy. He could not care less about fetch. <laughs> he just wants to like chew on it alone. Wants nothing else. Oh, that tree is going to be perfect when it's taller. I really like the tree. I really do. But we'll enjoy it <laughs> for a few days. Look how cute you are. <laughs> you playing with your toy? <laughs> he hates being recorded. I swear, dogs and babies they don't want to be recorded. So, all right, I'm procrastinating. Let's go, let's go upstairs and fold the clothes. Wanna come upstairs? He follows me everywhere. Let's go upstairs. Okay, the key to folding laundry is watching a good YouTube video or a Christmas movie. Well, I'm kind of behind on my, my YouTube videos. Does anyone else have way too many videos saved on their watch later section? The clothes and jackets are put away. It's almost four o'clock, the sun is setting, and I'm gonna take my makeup off since we're having a chill night at home. Does anyone else love at-home date night? And it's like the only thing that makes it at-home date night is like ordering out and then watching something good. I wore the first pair of lashes out of that naked vault from Ulta with all the different naked Ardell lashes, and they're so pretty. I couldn't even decide which one to wear. They're all just like so subtle, but so cute. Oh my God, taking off your makeup. One of the best feelings. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, and it just gets off everything. And then I just use one of these little face halo, reusable, washable makeup remover cloths. This combo is the best. I'm so excited to watch the Selling Sunset reunion. This season was crazy. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched it yet, but like the feud between Nicole and Chrishell is a lot. There's like just so many feuds. I think Nicole really just needed to apologize back when Chrishell did and a lot of it would have probably simmered down a little bit. But Chrishell has taken no prisoners this season. And then that ending with Brie, not knowing if she's gonna leave Oppenheim group. I'm just really curious and I, I, I loved it. <laughs> I really loved it. This was a crazy good season. And then we're also watching The Gilded Age. Before that we were watching Ted Lasso but so much new stuff has been coming out. So it's kind of gone on the back burner and we just finished the newest season of The Morning Show. That was a really good season. All right, and that was the purifying foaming wash from Skin Medica for acne. And I just take it off with a washcloth. So yeah, let me know what you guys are watching. I hope it's not so boring when I talk about shows. I just, I don't know. It's like talking to a friend about what you're watching. And you guys always have some really good show recommendations. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Even and Correct pads from Skin Medica. My skin was freaking out when I wasn't using these products for like a week because I ran out and it's already started to calm down as soon as I got it back in the mail. I don't know if my skin is agreeing with these pads, but 
I'm gonna use the whole thing and see. I just really like the ingredients in them. And then the AHA BHA cream for moisturizer. And then I'm not gonna put my eye cream on until bedtime um, because it makes my eyes sting sometimes. But does anyone else do their night skincare at like 4 p.m.? You know what? <laughs> Gives it more time to soak in, especially before like your head's on the pillow and it comes off probably, I don't know. That's just me trying to justify it. I actually only drink about half of this and I don't think I'm gonna drink the rest because we got it all done. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here um, because the rest of the night is gonna be really, really chill. We've decided on pizza for dinner, meatball and ricotta, so good. So pizza plus selling sunset reunion, the perfect at-home date night. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I know it was kind of a boring vlog, but like just kind of like a real life vlog. So hopefully you guys enjoyed lots more days like this coming up for Vlogmas, but I do have like a lot planned. I have a notes app just full of ideas. So let me know your Vlogmas requests in the comments. I love you guys so much and I'll see you again in a few days.